that Aaron Bailey was running when he threw it across his body 40 yards on the line, or Reese's catch, which one was more impressive? Than that? Well, you're speaking of like what I thought was in was was most where we got better last week in the football game. I felt was in the in the passing game. Okay, even though you saw another 300 yards rushing, I felt that we threw the ball downfield better than what we had the previous weeks, and a lot had to do with the throw to Darius, the throws to uh, Charles Brown, and uh, opening up that deeper part of our game. So it was. Uh, I think I've said in here before, way back in two day camp, Aaron can throw the football. Okay. I think what Aaron was missing maybe was experience and hadn't played for three years. So I think the more he plays, I think we're all starting to see him unfold here of what the talent he is. The other part of it is, is Darius, I've, I've, I've always felt is an outstanding receiver. And then Charles is, you know, he's been playing so hard. He's a smaller person, but you know, you can see the confidence that he's playing with right now and the catch and run that he made. So what I was most pleased with on the offensive side of the ball that wasn't there previous weeks was the down the field passing game and the yards after catch, which is Darius, Charles, and Aaron putting that together. So if we can continue to improve, we still got some things to, to get better on, but that, that, one, that was the difference last week I thought that we got better at. Mark, you have 14 guys named on conference this morning, including Bailey being the newcomer and uh, Godfrey Paul being defense player. Just talk about the honors that they got and how important they are. Well, as I told you, the football team on, I think we found out about it on Sunday or sometime last week we found out. And then when I called them in, uh, what I told him was this. One was DeAndre Hall. It was what it was a great honor to have the Defensive Player of the Year again on a football team. And as, as good as this league is and as good as the defenses are in this league, to be the Defensive Player of the Year says something. But I also wanted to make sure the team knew that when you have a Defensive Player of the Year or a Newcomer of the Year or the offense, that particular segment should take pride in that because it takes more than one guy to be the Defensive Player of the Year. You need a pass rush. You need uh, a lot of things have to happen within your defense to be the defensive player of the year. So that was a credit and a compliment to our defense, and yet D. Hall got the individual honor, which he very well deserved. And then uh, to have Aaron Bailey have the newcomer of the year, I think is, is in the same result of the rest of the offense. What the offensive line done, has done in uh, you know, the past uh, six, seven weeks and what Aaron has done, as well as what our receivers have done downfield blocking uh, for him as well. So when you have those uh, those individual honors of, of player of the year, I think it also says something about the segment that you play with because it kind of draws them into the mix as well. So that's how I'd say that. And I just saw the all-conference list here earlier this morning. And uh, you know, there's some deserving players on those because of what they contributed to us. So, no, I, th I, thought, I thought we had a good football team, and it's, it's really taken uh, life here as of late. And, you know, the last six, seven weeks have been very, very good to us, and, and we're playing good football right now. Yeah. Talk about Portland's.